Hey folks, Tony Hannity's here with Lazy Tech TV and check out this clip that we got from our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Lazy Tech Tony. It just gives you a little bit of insight on how to better your Twitch clips for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, all of it. Let me know what you think. So this is Combo and this really works best. There, I, I guess you could upload any video really but it works best with twitch so if you're on youtube gaming or on trovo or uh facebook gaming you could use this but you do have to sign in with the twitch account but you can upload videos so these are all the twitch clips that i took all right so these were all the ones that i felt that were interesting enough let's go ahead and choose one of these twitch clips as you can see here, there are different templates that they give you. Personally, I like the face cam template. It allows you to show off most of the gameplay that you have. Um, whereas if you do split, um, if you have a webcam like mine, which is 16 by nine, it doesn't take away too much away from your webcam. So if you want it to be a little bit more of the focus than the gameplay, split might be really good for you. Otherwise I'd say face cam is probably going to be the best option to you. So let's go ahead and choose face cam. And as you can see here, you do have the option to continue with template, but we'll, we'll go ahead and choose face cam. Mix, mix, uh, Mega Master. And now Mega we're going to choose Master. where like my face name. cam is. So for and me, right my face here, cam is right here. Is. Next, it will automatically size the actual video for your gameplay. But as I mentioned before, the most important thing that you can do to draw people in is what you add to your Twitch clip. You don't have the ability to do keyframes and zoom in and zoom out or, you know, add a particular marker, turn your camera upside down. You don't have the, the capacity to do that. To do that, Combo at least lets you do these extra things. You can add extra video. You can add an extra image, text and auto sub uh, subtitles. So let's go ahead and add an image. Being that this is a one guild stream, right? This is a one guild member. I'm, I'm, I'm a one guild member. We want to brand it. And this is a very easy brand. You just clip that. Let's resize it here. Let's, all right, there we go. We'll just make it, make it about this size. Now, personally, I know TikTok for whatever reason, it's, it's like upper left-hand corner icon will cover anything that you put up there. So for TikTok especially, I will put branding on the right-hand side. So you just have to keep that in mind as you're branding branding out your stuff. Now down at the bottom is your timeline. If you've ever played with any kind of photo or video editing software, you'll be familiar with the timeline. Uh, this particular picture uh, currently only shows up about seven seconds after. So we're just gonna very easily move that over to the beginning and we can actually shorten it as well too. The other thing that's very, very important is text, right? So some people might argue that the first frame of your video, effectively your cover of the video, you need to have some sort of text drawing you in, making you look at the video and saying, okay, I'll click on that to see what is so intriguing about what this individual is sharing. So right now, so, so this is your title here, but on the left-hand side, uh, you can change the different font. And what's really nice is that it'll actually show you what the different fonts are before you choose them. I don't know if you can see that with my webcam video kind of in the way, but let's just for the sake, let's choose the luckiest guy as a font. Uh, we can make it bold. It's already centered. And obviously you don't want the title to be there forever. So we can actually shorten this there we go here's a moment in the video where something interesting happens is her name is again claire i hit the button incorrectly so right there where i say i hit the button incorrectly this is where you can actually i believe it lets you split it says split so you just click on split and boom so you haven't had to upload or, or, or anything with that right. video. So right here, you we can actually enlarge the video. So it's gonna, at this point, it's gonna look like this. I hit the button incorrectly. 
And then at this point, you can add like additional kinds of on-screen callouts. You can upload different images. So if you wanted to upload a PNG of, you know, I, I, I don't know, like a, like a meme face, or if I particularly thought that what I did was cool, you could upload those 8-bit cool uh, glasses. I'm not cool, but you could put that in there if you wanted to. Uh, it's like, it really comes down to you and your creativity. Let's just, let's just do that right now. So let's go ahead and upload an image. We'll go to PNGs, upload the Thug Life glasses for some reason, and we'll just drag them here. Now, again, you don't have the keyframing ability. There's not going to be a ton of like, like ways that you can actually easily map the glasses to match where my eyeballs are. But the joke is there, right? So let's just see how this plays with glasses. That's when I should have put it and I screwed up. I apologize. I don't know if that's the, the, the best and proper way to, uh, to have the glasses on there, but you folks get the idea in the gist of how easy this drag and drop system is. Once we're all done, well, we're all done. We're said and done. That's awesome. Um, I do recommend at some point as well too, you want to throw up, not throw up, but you want to put up on screen your URL. So I can't type today. So we'll, we'll use, uh, we'll use this and we'll do that. Uh, we will also make it a little bit smaller and we're going to color it red let's go ahead and color it red we can add a background to it there we go border radius we can make it a little bit bigger if we want to nice so now at the end of the video as long as they've watched the whole video that's where we'll see you know where you can watch more of my brilliant Mix, uh, content. Master, I was gonna say Mix so this master. is the full Mega thing. Master looked up Lightning's real name. And if you want to hear what her real name is, I'm saying it right now. Her real name is... Her name is, again, Claire... I hit the button incorrectly. I should have put it right... That's when I should have put it. And I screwed up. I apologize. I'll get you out. And that's it. So once you go ahead and export, you can automatically share it and connect it to these. Um, or as you can see here right now, because I'm on desktop, it's automatically uh, rendering and it will be available in my inbox. And I'll get an email when it's ready in my inbox. And like I mentioned, if you want to upgrade to Pro, these are the top three things that you would that you would benefit from. Automatically edited clips. Okay, cool increased file upload size very very important if you have large png files or or like uh, video files that you want to have on hand at all times and priority rendering queue again most of this stuff is free so if you pay for it they're going to give you a little bit of a boost so you can get that content out into your socials before everybody else so not a bad solution guys if you enjoyed that make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel tell your friends all about it and we'll see you folks in the next video. So take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.